All right, here we go. It's the Wednesday night walkthrough. Starting outside the shelter, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. Wednesday night walkthrough. We're going to start with a dog named Scarlet, who right now is getting some love from Ruby, a.k.a. Woofer is in need. It's her favorite dog in the shelter right now. Let's come over here in the in the light so we can get a better look at Scarlet. Ruby had her out in the play yard earlier. You can see her walking very well on a leash. There we go. That's a little more bright. And Ruby wanted to start off with uh, Scarlet outside because she does some incredible tricks. She's very good at following commands. Is that, that correct, Ruby? All right, let's see. What's uh, what is uh, Scarlet going to do for us? She's distracted right now. So let's see what Scarlet's going to do. So, what what treats are you? What 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 uh, uh, tricks are you expecting, Ruby? Well, Scarlet knows how to sit on command, and she knows how to lay down. Well, she just sat when she heard you say that, and then she lays down on command as well, just like Ruby said. Oh, what a good girl! She's following. Perfect. What a great girl. So this is Ruby's favorite dog, Scarlet. Look, and she follows directions so well. You know who else follows directions so well? Not just Ruby. Not just Scarlet. Look at this. It's so adorable. Yes, it is. So that is Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Ruby's favorite and she is here at Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. She, she spits out her treat. <laughs> uh, how long has Scarlett been here, Ruby? Since the 10th. Since the 10th. 10th of November. So she, sometimes she can be a little standoffish when she meets somebody new, but with just a little time and patience, you can see what a good girl she is. Very receptive to Ruby's loves. And a very uh, smart dog who's very good at... Um, following commands just like uh, just like we saw so outside the shelter for the Wednesday night walkthrough with Ruby and Scarlett Kern County Animal Services 3951 Fruitvale Avenue we're open uh, tomorrow until uh, 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. and our adoption fee is only uh, ten dollars unless the dog's been here for 30 days or longer in that case the adoption fee is waved and we've got uh, a congregation here by the little ones oh we're we're admiring your latest addition to your your home <laughs> this little one right here was adopted by our very own shelby so how about that so this little one has a wonderful home She's going to show off her, her new little black and white baby here. <laughs> Jumps right into her arms. Oh, look at how cute that is. Yes. Wow, so she's uh, already learning to be potty trained. So this little dog, just so you know, is safe and been adopted by Shelby, who's holding her right there in her arms. Um, and there was, uh, well... Y'all were supposed to hang out and wait. Huh? Come on, was? Hey, Ruby. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ruby. Yay! Happy birthday, Ruby. We were supposed to do it outside with Scarlett, but then uh, Jackie and everybody bailed on me, so we just kind of put it together here. We know that you were already, they already saying happy birthday to you earlier here at the shelter, but we just wanted to do it on Facebook so that everybody knows it's your birthday and how much you are loved and appreciated. Ruby Woofer is in need on Instagram. She does so much for the animals in our care. So many photos, so many videos. Thank you so much, Ruby. We all love you. Bianca and Jackie and Celestial, and Tyler, and Shelby. So thank you, Ruby. Happy birthday. All right. So there we go. That was one of the uh, surprises I wanted to give you for the 
uh, Wednesday night walkthrough. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Do you have a dog you want to show off? No, not tonight. Not tonight. Well, I got a couple I want to show off. We're back here in our Q kennel. And, you know, we always have so many dogs to focus on, so many dogs that need help. Q15. You know, when you're dealing with social media, we have so many dogs that need uh, immediate help and attention, need to find their forever home, need to find adoption, foster, or rescue. There's a lot of dogs that are featured by our staff, by our volunteers, and sometimes our social media guy. And that's the case with these guys in Q15. Uh, the two remaining Bradys. This one right here is Sweet Jan, who is licking on my fingers. You can see that right now. She is showing symptoms of a doggy cold. It's very, very concerning. That means she needs to get out of here as uh, quickly um, as possible. Um, yeah, um, Jan needs help ASAP. Um, she uh, was one of the four dogs. Along with Peter, we're going to talk about you, Peter. Don't you worry. She was the one that was most timid and scared, but she has really overcome that. She's made so much progress. She is very friendly, very loving. Um, she loves treats, and she is good with other dogs. On the other, I'll show you the dog on the other side in just a second. It's a Great Dane, Jan, and Peter back there. We're hanging out with the Great Dane earlier, and they were just completely and totally fine. We uh, posted a picture of that in the comment section of uh, the Brady's uh, most recent video. Peter is the one there in the back. Another one of the, so these are the uh, uh, two remaining dogs that were dumped in the Mojave Desert. Two of them got adopted. These two are the ones left. Peter there in the back is a very, very sweet and affectionate dog, but he has a, uh, uh, what is it, a uh, tibial fracture, blah, 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 blah. He, he, he's got a he's got a fractured back leg. Probably needs to be seen by a specialist. Probably going to need some surgery. So it's probably going to take a rescue organization that's going to step up for Peter. So if you know someone who's a rescue organization, if you are a rescue organization, I personally want to advocate for Peter back there. He is a very good dog. So is Jan. Um, Jan could be go to foster. She could be adopted. She could go to a rescue. Um, she is I'm just so proud of her. She's done so well. And uh, Peter back there, most likely because he needs to be seen by a specialist, because he's probably going to need surgery, probably needs to go to an animal rescue. So I am crossing my fingers. My two favorite dogs that I am totally biased for and I am totally rooting for, Q15, Jan and Peter, the Bradys, they need out ASAP. All right. The whole reason we posted them uh, when we did early on is we knew they were going to need help. And now they need that help. Two of them made it out safely. We got two left. Please do what you can to get Jan, sweet Jan, and Peter out of the shelter, the Brady's in Q15. Adopt, foster, or rescue, Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. I want to show you their kennel mate on the other side. I mentioned the Great Dane. Look at his Great Dane. This is Duchess. Duchess was in a playgroup earlier, running around with the other dogs. Did, I know, I'm talking about you, Duchess. She was very, very good. When they were cleaning the kennels earlier, Duchess, <laughs> she's so talkative. Duchess and Jan and Peter, all three of them were all here on this side while the other side was being cleaned out. Duchess was great with Jan and Peter, and Jan and Peter, they were great with Duchess. So Duchess is dog friendly, Jan is dog friendly, and Peter is dog friendly, all three of them. Now, uh, this dog here, Duchess, sad story. I don't know if you saw the video we posted earlier. I was talking about her when she was in the playgroup. So she and her mate were dumped out on Highway 58. Her mate died. She sat there next to her dead mate until animal control showed up and was able to, you know, get her taken care of, get her on the truck. Her male counterpart was already deceased. Um, she was there with him and didn't want to uh, leave him. So that's a very, very sad story for a couple different reasons. Number one, this beautiful Great Dane named Duchess was abandoned. What makes it worse, she was abandoned with her mate who died abandoned. So it's a very, very sad story up until this point. It doesn't have to end that way. Let's get Duchess 
out of the shelter safely. She just recently arrived, so she's not, not available yet. She will be available on the 17th, okay? This beautiful girl, Duchess, she's been overbred. I don't know if you can see. Uh, she got some saggies right now. She's been overbred, and unfortunately, this happens. Beautiful dogs, beautiful Great Danes, and other breeds like Duchess. Uh, they're used as puppy machines, and then when they're of no use to the person breeding them, uh, they're abandoned. Uh, they're cast, cast away, cast aside, dumped on the side of Highway 58. That's what happened to Duchess. Her mate did not make it. Can't do anything for him, but we can do something for her, and that's getting her out of the shelter safely. So this is Duchess. Oh, are you sleepy, girl? Duchess, she's great with Jan and Peter. She's also in Q15. Duchess, 89 pound, uh, female, uh, Great Dane, uh, came in uh, today, the 13th, and is available on the 17th, okay? So let's keep Duchess top of mind. There's also, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time in our, our AD kennels, but there's a lot of dogs in our Q kennels we want to talk about, like um, Flower back here. I was talking to Tahara, Tahara, Tahara. <laughs> Our rescue uh, rescue coordinator, as she said, a flower is her favorite dog. One of her favorite dogs. This is Flower, who is also uh, a favorite of uh, uh, Please Dot Me CA. I think uh, Kelsey is the one who did a video featuring Flower here. So she just uh, a regular looking brown dog, brown shepherd mix, very easy going. If you want to see her do more than lay on the bed, you can look up uh, please.meca on on uh, Facebook or Instagram. Um, we posted her earlier today on our social media, but she's a very good girl. Uh, she is dog friendly, staff and volunteer favorite. And we want to see Flower make it out of the shelter safely. Adopt Foster Rescue, Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. She is in kennel Q21. The other dog I wanted to show you was her kennel mate, and her kennel mate was the dancing queen, Sue. We posted that video, that cute little black dog named Sue. That, oh wait, I had you in the wrong kennel. This is Sue, hi Sue. This is the dancing queen, Sue. How are you doing, Sue? Hi, sweetie. A lot of people saw the video. Come here, Sue. Come here, good girl. I know I haven't been formally introduced. I've only, come here, sweetheart, come here. Come here, sweetie. This is Sue. So you can see she's not constantly dancing nonstop. She is a little scared, a little timid. This is the first time I put my uh, hand inside the kennel with her. And so it's, it's understandable. With a little more time and patience, she'd come over, be a very good girl. She's clearly been taken care of, a very smart and talented dog who, um, um, you know, you, you, you saw the video for yourself of her just doing her head down and, and, and wiggling her butt back and forth and then hopping up on one foot and then the other foot. That is this dog, Sue. It's okay, Sue. And she just recently came in, so she's probably still uh, adjusting uh, to the shelter. Um, she's uh, available for adoption. Um, right before the, she, uh, we, uh, when we posted the video, she was available for adoption the, uh, the day after. She's still here. Um, I don't see a kennel card. I don't know if that means anything or not, but what I can tell you, Sue the Dancing Queen is still here. She's not dancing right now, but of course you can uh, check out her dancing uh, on, our, um, on our social media pages. We've posted it on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and, and YouTube as well. Uh, a good girl, she is, she is nervous. Uh, she is a little, uh, you know, shy and timid, but um, I've got something with a little more uh, time and patience. She's going to be just fine, and then you're going to have a very talented dog in your home. So adopt, foster, or rescue Little Black Sue, the Dancing Queen. Uh, she is in Q22. Glad I didn't miss you. I've got your uh, kennel confused there, Sue. All right, also, we're going to look at um, Willow in Q20. These are all dogs... All the dogs on my list tonight are, uh, most of them are, are, are 30 day dogs that have been here for at least a month. Um, not all of them, the Great Dane, uh, that was not the case. Uh, Sue, that's not the case. Willow, this is the case. Willow is just, just a good looking, dark brindle, 
uh, pity, pity mix. Uh, good with other dogs. He's had other kennel mates. He's been in a play group. But uh, Willow here, with those big brown eyes, Willow is in Q20. Came to the shelter on October 12th. October 12th. So Willow is uh, over her 30 days. Um, his 30 days and his adoption fee is waived, as you can see. Pretty uh, easy going dog, not getting all uh, hyper and excited, just probably wants to lay down for the evening. So this is Willow, a dog, uh, like I said, over 30 days, needs some help, needs somebody to adopt, foster, or rescue Willow as he goes night night. And Q20. Uh, 17. Hi there, Barky. How are you doing, Barky? These two right here, we talked about these guys last uh, Wednesday night, and that would be um, Tim, who's this boy right here. He barked at us last week. Tim, he's uh, about 10 years old. He's like a, uh, like a chow shepherd mix. And the reason he does that, he is freaked out here in the shelter, Tim. Uh, this is Aqua, Missy, Missy Aqua. I, I'm, I'm not sure what her name, is it Missy or Aqua? Which one is it? It goes back and forth. I think, so I think her name was Aqua uh, before she came in. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so, so um, Missy is the gray one, formerly known as Aqua. Uh, Missy here and Tim, um, they came in together. Uh, they had an owner who tragically um, passed away in a very tragic accident. So these dogs have been uh, in a home um, all this time. They're only here in the shelter for no fault of their own. It's because their owner is, is gone. Um, so we need to find a way out for, um, you know, this old, this old boy named Tim. I know, Tim, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I know you're freaked out. I don't blame you. If I had a home and I wound up in a shelter, I would be grumpy too, buddy. I would. Uh, Missy Aqua, you can see she just... She just wants to go night night. But these are a couple of very, very good dogs. I know, Tim, you're giving people the wrong idea. I know you're a good boy. Um, Tim and Aqua, or Tim and Missy, um, they're in Q17. They're here because their owner passed away. It's not their fault that they're here. So obviously we want to get them out. Uh, Q15, we talked about the Bradys, Jan and Peter. Uh, Q05 and Q03, um, we posted about uh, Platinum. Well, let's go to Q03 here real quick, because we want to look at... Yeah, you're Lydia, aren't you? Um, Lydia is uh, another one that um, Kelsey, please adopt me CA, recently um, featured. Um, Lydia is a dog that's been here for over 30 days. She has been ignored and overlooked. Um, unfortunately, that's common here in the shelter. We have over 300 dogs in our care, and there's no possible way that our volunteers or staff can spotlight and feature every single dog in the shelter. As a result, many dogs get um, passed over and overlooked for no fault of their own. That's the case with Lydia. Unfortunately, um, Kelsey, please adopt me, CA, has recently taken her out and uh, showed what she, uh, what kind of dog she really is when she's uh, out in the play yard and, uh, and just being a, a very good girl. She's not overly affectionate. She's, she's a good dog, but she's not an, a super affectionate dog that's gonna like jump on your lap and jump all over you. Um, so, you know, and that's very appealing for some people. I don't want a dog jumping on me all the time. I don't want a dog that's always jumping on my lap. Here you can have a, a good, friendly dog that's good with other dogs and maybe perfect for you and your family and your home. Uh, Lydia has, uh, of course, uh, she's a black dog. You hear us always talking about black dogs, how the odds are many, many times stacked heavily uh, against them just because of their color, and that is so unfair, and that's definitely the case for Lydia. So we wanted to show her on tonight's Winston Night walkthrough. She's in uh, Q03, and to see more of her, you can uh, check out please.me.ca on Facebook or Instagram and see her being a little more um, lively and active. All right, and then Platinum in Q05, he is on the other side. Platinum is a big white dog. We shared his video with uh, from Denise Lynn Smith, one of our volunteers earlier today. So let's take a look at big Platinum. Sometimes he can be barky. Hi, Platinum, are you gonna bark at me? Are you gonna bark at me? Not tonight? Well, that's very good, that's very good, Platinum. Um, <laughs> Platinum in Q05 
Big dog, uh, about uh, 60 pounds. You look like you, I guess you're just a skinny, you're just a skinny puppy dog. Healthy, but skinny. I thought you weigh more than 60 pounds. But this is platinum. Uh, again, just like what we talked about with um, Lydia, um, you can you know, see the dog in the kennel and see its you know, size and general personality, stuff like that. Much, much better to go to uh, Denise Lynn Smith on, on Facebook or uh, on our uh, social media, and you can see uh, Platinum out of the kennel and uh, just hanging out with a person and see what a good dog he is. If he's a dog that you're interested in, he's here at Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue, uh, Platinum. Um, he's not a 30-day dog? Yes, actually. So he arrived, I'm not sure, I'm not sure the reason. So he arrived on October 11th, was available on November 2nd. I'm not sure what's up with that, but he arrived on uh, October 11th. So he has been in the shelter for over 30 days. You know, one, you know, one of the uh, possibilities is um, that um, just as far as why Platinum is here, he is a large dog. He's um, He's only about three years old, so he's still got plenty of pep in his step. I don't know if, um, you know, maybe he was just uh, too big of a dog for whatever home or family he had. But um, he's definitely uh, one of our volunteer favorites, so we definitely want to shine a spotlight on him. And again, you can see more of Platinum uh, on our social media or check out Denise Lynn Smith on Facebook to see Platinum in action, doing more than licking his paw on his bed on Wednesday night. Platinum. And he's in Q05. So those were the dogs we wanted to feature in our second room of, uh, second big room of adoptable dogs. Um, we have uh, more familiar faces in our very first big room of adoptable dogs, our AD kennels. A lot of these are dogs that, um, again, that our staff and volunteers have posted video on. One we definitely have to talk about is down here in the corner. Oh finally happened. Goldilocks is a dog we've been talking about. Oh, it looks like it hasn't happened yet. I saw the... Goldilocks is still here. Goldilocks is a very, very sweet, very, very friendly um, tan pity mama who is very, very pregnant. I'm surprised she hasn't had her puppies yet. Um, but she's uh, on the verge. That's why you see uh, the, the towel hanging from her kennel. That's why you see the big uh, comfy comforter in there and why you see the whelping box back there. Wouldn't be surprising if by this time tomorrow, uh, Goldilocks has a litter of puppies. She's a very pregnant girl. Hi, Goldie. Hi, Goldie. She is very, very sweet. Many, many times she's been... Um, come back to our administration uh, trailer and um, been friendly with all of our staff back there. In the play yard, she's been great. On walks with volunteers, she's been great. She is a wonderful, wonderful dog, but she is pregnant. The next time you see Goldie, um, I'll bet you $1,000 right now, the next time you see Goldie, it's because she had her puppies. And it was urgent with Goldie as a pregnant mama and it'll be even more urgent when she has newborn puppies and you know you know this you know how we roll you know how it works we always talk about how we got to find foster homes and foster families for m newborn puppies and their mama that's going to be the case for goldie there you go you more comfortable goldie that's going to be the case for goldie we've posted about her we've asked uh you know for adoption, foster, rescue for her. Uh, that hasn't happened yet. And it's just gonna be all the more tough and all the more important the next time you see her without question. The next time you see Goldilocks, it's gonna be, it, she's gonna have puppies with her and we're gonna need uh, a safe way for her and her puppies out of the shelter. Um, foster, uh, dog foster at currentcounty.com. That is the email to foster um, Goldie and her puppies dogfoster at kerncounty.com or 661-868-7130. Uh, That's our dog foster hotline. But Goldie is definitely a staff and volunteer favorite. 
We're going to love her puppies, and we're going to do everything we can to get them out of the shelter safely. But that's something we cannot do on our own. It is up to our rescue partners, our foster families, and our community to make sure we have a happy ending for, for Goldie and her puppies. So she is in um, 8045. Uh, again, like what we mentioned, photos and videos of Goldie Locks um, available on our social media. 36 is Brian. Where's Brian at? Brian, I feel so bad for this dog. He's just a, he's just a good looking, normal dog. Where are you at? That's not Brian. I hope you're on the other side, Brian. But just a dog that's just so chill and relaxed and mellow. He's just, there he is. This is Brian. Brian in AD 36. This is Brian. Hi, Brian. He's a very calm dog. He's a very chill dog. He's a little bit shy, a little bit timid. Um, I'm sorry, Brian. He didn't like the camera in his face. So that's what's working against him. He does not, he's not comfortable with strangers. It takes a minute, it takes some time. Um, and the reason why is hanging around his um, neck. You can see he's got a collar. You can see he has tags. This dog has a home. And... That's where he wants to be. And so he's, you can hear him being vocal. He's like, I don't like it here. I don't know you. You scare me. I guarantee you with time, reassurance, maybe some treats, Brian will come around. But this is why he's still here. This is why um, he's a, an urgent priority dog. But again, you can see, look, it's hanging from his neck. That's a collar and tag. And um, I guarantee we've, we've called the numbers on the tag. Uh, if he's micro, I don't know if he's microchipped or not. If he is microchipped, we've called whatever numbers are on the microchip. And yet he is still here. He is in desperate need of adoption, foster, rescue. And this is why he's miserable here. And he's scared here. So, you know, it's just... Um, uh, of all the dogs you've seen tonight... He is definitely one of the top, he's definitely in the top three, I would say. But that's Brian in, in AD 36. Feels so terrible for that dog. So I feel terrible for you, Brian. It's not your fault. Um, 32, I don't know this guy, William. I just have him on my list because he's like a 30-day dog. Where's William? 32. A Mastiff. I don't know what to expect. Most of these dogs, I, I you know, I know... Just, uh, all right, looks like uh, William is not in 32. 29, who's down here in 29? Oh, look at you guys. We've got a bunch of uh, great looking teenagers here, uh, three of them Jackson, Philip, and Nick. So these guys, is that you making that noise? I know why. I know why. Hold on for a second. I know it's okay. Uh, so these three teenagers, Jax and Philip and uh, Nick, are in eighty twenty nine. They arrived on October twelfth, so they're obviously over thirty days. The one. Hi there, Bob. So, you know, when it comes to uh, younger dogs, we always have lots of teenage dogs, and these three are just, they're just very good looking dogs. Great looking coat, great looking markings, great personalities, very friendly. So, if they, uh, you know, um, I, I mention uh, often when we talk about teenage dogs. Oh, why am I having a brain freeze? So, Jack's here. Hey, Jack's. I didn't realize. It was that Jax. Jax is another one that our volunteers have uh, featured. I think it was Kelsey again that uh, uh, spent some time with Jax. The one right there, the, the white and brindle one right there in the middle. Just an adorable little dog. Did wonderful for his uh, video. And you can see his kennel mates, Nick and Philip, <laughs> are pretty awesome too. So uh, if you want to see more of uh, Jax, you could do like a uh, please dot with CA on uh, Instagram or Facebook. They're at 8029. I just barky guy in the corner, so we're going to get away from him. And then we're uh, almost, uh, 
I'd say we're three quarters of the way through. We're going to move up to um, AD 16. Oh, AD, well, AD 16 is Scarlet, who uh, we saw with Ruby. Maverick. Hey, Maverick. Oh, doggone it. Maverick. This is such a great dog. He was out. He's a, he's a Brindle uh, Catahoula Pity Mix. Great personality. Just a lot of, just a great personality. He was out with uh, Denise Lynn Smith earlier. Um, we, yeah, we posted the, uh, a couple of uh, photos of Maverick. He's in uh, AD05. Um, the, th the, the thing that's bumming me out, I don't think you can see it now. Look up here, Maverick. Yeah, so he's like the, he, 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 he's, he's got a doggy cold. Maverick has a doggy cold. I don't know how much longer he's going to be up here in AD05. He's probably going to be moved back to our medical kennels. We always talk about our medical kennels, how there's so few kennels back there. When a dog gets a doggy cold, whether it ever makes it out of our medical kennels is like 50-50. So, you know, um, you know, those dogs in our medical kennels are at uh, many times the greatest risk. And I feel terrible that Maverick is going to wind up back there. So he is extremely important. Adopt, foster, or rescue uh, Maverick. He has been great in play groups. He's been great with our staff and volunteer in the play yard. Let's see, I heard you have a little kennel mate. That's his kennel mate. So just a little dog there. So he's good with little dogs. And he was great in the play group with uh, bigger dogs. His kennel mate is Calabar. They're both in AD05. All right, now, so now we're on the front row. AD12, got to go back to AD12. Who's making a ruckus? Hey, 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 it's okay, buddy. It's all right. I know you're a little freaked out. It's all right. Don't worry. You'll see your friend tomorrow. It's okay. Uh, no information on the dog. He's in uh, AD10, but he was making a ruckus. Uh, where's he at? I did not know this dog was still here. Wreck it, Ralph. Wreck it, Ralph. AD 12. I remember last time, was it last week, Ralph? We were talking about Wreck it, Ralph and AD 12. Um, he was out of time last Wednesday. When I talked about Wreck-It Ralph last Wednesday and I said, out of all the dogs you've seen so far on the Wednesday night walkthrough, Wreck-It Ralph is the top of the list. I'm very surprised and shocked that he is still here. I guarantee you this, Wreck-It Ralph, this one right here, knock it off, hold on. You were, you, were, you were mouthy last time. I know you're a good dog, but you just keep it down a little bit. Wreck-It Ralph here is living on borrowed time. I'm very happy to see that he is still here. But uh, he's only... Only so many times a dog's time can be extended. So somebody stepped up for Wreck-It Ralph. He is still here in 8012. Um, so he is a major, major priority. Good with his little kennel mate. You saw him last time on the Wednesday Night Walkthrough. There is a, a German Shepherd named Gabriel on the other side. All three of them are kennel mate. So Wreck-It Ralph is good with big dogs. He's too good with small dogs. But Wreck-It Ralph needs adoption, foster, or rescue fast because he is living on borrowed time. He's in uh, AD 12. 11 is, that one's missing uh, the kennel card, so I'm not, I'm not familiar with that dog, I apologize. Um, AD, oh, Bogey. Hi, Bogey. How are you doing, Bogey? Um, it's all right there, bud. Bogey is one of, uh, Megan, Queen of the Streets of Bakersfield, one of her favorite dogs. Uh, if you, if you, it was important to read the uh, text of Bogey's video. Uh, he was in a play group and another dog went after him and messed up his leg. Um, the other dog started the fight. Bogey was trying to avoid that fight. Um, and after, he was fine with the other dogs that he met when he was retested. So, um, He's a very, and he was trying to get away from the other dog. He wasn't trying to continue that altercation. So um, that's uh, 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 something that's uh, uh, worked against him uh, in the past. Again, he, he uh, has, I think he still has a wound on his leg. It's getting better and better. It'll, it'll heal. 
but he, does, he did have a wound on his leg. Uh, at one point, it was shortly after that um, altercation that he had, and then there was some other chaos in the kennel where uh, a shelter worker was uh, 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 had their hand inside to, I, th I, don't, I don't remember if it was like a f exactly what the situation was, but Bogey was freaked out, and um, he, uh, he kind of made a, a lurch and a move towards the shelter worker. It didn't harm them, um, but... Um, so there's been a couple things that have worked against Bogey that aren't really his fault. He is a good dog. Uh, please check out the video with uh, Megan, Megan for the Dogs on Facebook and also on Instagram. And you can see Bogey um, outside of his kennel uh, being a very good boy. Um, but a, a dog um, like uh, the others that you've seen needs adoption, foster, rescue as quickly as possible. Bogey, B O. G-I-E, you can see his little, he had a little owie right there. I think that's the owie right there. But that's him in the concrete play yard. Good boy in AD 11. Uh, where is uh, <laughs> Jason Barkey's? <clears throat> he was one of the dogs from our uh, Mega Pet Adoption event on Saturday at the park at Riverwalk. Uh, we had um, a lot of dogs get adopted. Jason Parkies, unfortunately, was out there, and no one uh, chose him. So here he is again on the Wednesday night walkthrough. Um, how old are you? He's only about a year old. You can see he's leaning over to the kennel because he wants some scratches. Here you go, Jason. Here you go. There you go. You like that? Here you go. That's a good boy. So he's a medium, medium size shepherd mix. See, I'm giving him loves and he's loving, loving the attention. Yes, good boy, Jason Parkies. Ooh. He came here late September. He's been here since late September. He's only a year old. He's good with other dogs, very friendly, soaks up the affection. Got to get him out of the shelter. A late September dog. We cannot keep them forever. Adopt, foster, rescue, Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. Jason Barkey's, his adoption fee is waived. Uh, you'll find him in 8009. 7652. So let's go to set. Uh, oh, yeah, seven. Where's he at? I swear, he is like the most... One of the most handsome dogs in the shelter. Here's another one. Where you at? Jackson Jack, AD07, Jackson Jack. Ha, bud. He's just a, a just a, one of the most handsome dogs in the shelter. He was out of the mega adoption event, and uh, he did not find a home. He couldn't believe it. You know, talk about the competition in the shelter. There's also lots of competition at the mega pet adoption event. We had a lot of awesome dogs there. We're really, really happy at all the ones that found their, their homes. There was also foster dogs at the mega adoption event that they found their forever home. So, um, but yeah, I was really sure that Jackson Jack was going to find a home, but he didn't clearly. So he is still here. Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. Out of all the dogs in the shelter, I think that he is the second longest resident by one day. By one day, Jackson Jack got here uh, September 18th. September 18th. This great looking guy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But he is still here. Um, he definitely needs adoption, foster, or rescue fast. Jackson Jack in 8007. He was. Uh, uh, John from TV 23 featured uh, Jackson Jack. And that's like almost like always like a home run automatic. A dog's going to make it out of the shelter safely. Jackson Jack, you're getting a raw deal, dude. Somebody's got to be watching to get you out of the shelter safely. Jackson Jack, 8007. Um, six is Nix, who was another one at our Mega Pet Adoption event. Nix um, was very... Hi, Nix. How are you? Hi, sweetheart. So, uh, 
Nick's has a tendency to be very shy, very timid. You can see her kind of being that way um, right now. Um, she was she was very timid, very shy, very scared of the mega pet adoption of it. But the good thing I saw earlier it was volunteer Victor. Do you mind? Can you just please for a second? I'm talking about Nick's. I'll put you on. Just wait. Uh, volunteer Victor and Spin Run Dogs had Nix here in the concrete play yard with another dog. Uh, Nix was uh, just very happy. Tail was wagging, was very friendly and affectionate with, um, with Kim and also with Victor. So um, maybe a matter of, you know, just taking a little extra effort to show Nix that you are her friend and everything's going to be okay. But uh, we, I remember doing a, a live at the mega adoption event, talking about Nix as a dog. It's going to need a little. It's going to need help making it out of the shelter. Um, that is still the case. She didn't find her uh, uh, adoption foster rescue on Saturday. She's still here. Um, she's not a dog that's going to grab your attention when you come to the shelter. It's going to be somebody networking and advocating for this dog. It's going to be somebody watching tonight's Wednesday night walkthrough that says, you know what, my heart goes out to Nix. I want to be the one that gets her out of the shelter safely. She really needs help, but she has a ton of potential. She was making great progress earlier uh, this evening, today, like I mentioned, with Kim and Victor. So let's do what we can to get Nix out of the shelter safely. Uh, it's spelled N-Y-X, Nix. And A-D-06. Now you? That's karma. That's karma. <laughs> Who are you? Sydney? Sydney? I'm trying to talk about Nix. And you're barking behind me. Silly. 8019. That's Sydney. Nix and 8006. Uh, five, we talked about Maverick. And, oh, I'm so glad. Rusty, my boy. Rusty is. Um, Hi, Rusty. How are you doing? Rusty is another great-looking dog. This great uh, brindle. Um, kind of a pocket pity. He's probably a little bit bigger than a pocket pity, but definitely not a full-size pity. But just a very, very handsome dog. Very good dog. Has been great in playgroups and with other dogs. Anyway, the reason we're so happy, I'm so happy to see his tail wagging back there. So, uh, like what we talked about when we were talking about Maverick. How it looks like Maverick has a doggy cold. Rusty had a doggy cold. He was back in the medical kennel. When he was back there with his doggy cold, I know we posted saying, hey, Rusty needs help. His future is uncertain. 50-50 um, when a dog is back there on whether they're going to ever make it back to where Rusty is in our, our public adoption areas. Thankful that he's still here, but he needs out. You don't have to worry about a dog cold anymore. He is completely clear of his upper respiratory infection. He does not have a doggy cold anymore. He is healthy, ready to be adopted, excellent with other dogs, a very, um, really good on a leash, great with other dogs, great with volunteers. He's a little, um, usually he's a little more friendly, maybe just late, maybe he had a big day. But yeah, Rusty has always been one of my favorite dogs, so very happy to see him in AD02. Want to get him out of the shelter um, ASAP. <laughs> Are you sleepy? I think you're just sleepy, Rusty. Aren't you? Are you just sleepy? I oh, see so your tail wagon. Your tail ain't sleepy, Rusty. He's a good boy. Very handsome boy, too. And uh, uh, 802 uh, footage of Rusty out of uh, being in our administration trailer and in the play yard, thanks to Megan Queen of the Streets of Bakersfield. So there he is. So that's the dog I had on my list. Most of the dogs you saw on tonight's Wednesday night walkthrough, um, dogs that have been here for 30 days or longer, anytime a dog has been here for 30, any pet, dog, cat, uh, their adoption fee is waived. Otherwise, the adoption fee is only um, $10. Uh, we're open uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Wednesdays, 2 to 7 p.m. Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. Um, adopt, foster, Rescue, advocate, but as I mentioned earlier, somebody calls me during the Winston Night walkthrough. I gotta advocate for these two, the the Bradys, Jan 
and Peter, they're still here. Um, they were abandoned in the Mojave Desert. The other two dogs that came in with, they've been adopted, have made it out of the shelter safely. Jan and Peter have not made it out yet, but I am pulling for these guys so hard. When I first saw them, the reason that we got that video of them is like their, their kennel was dripping with despair. I know it sounds dramatic, but it's true. Cindy was so sad and Marsha was so sad. Greg was confused. Jan here, who we're looking at, she was the one kind of like being on guard, like looking out for her, her brothers and sisters. But they're very friendly. They are dog friendly. And I really want to see Jan and Peter make it out. Jan's available for adoption, foster, or rescue. <sighs> Peter has a bad back leg. He's probably going to need a rescue organization to step up for him. Would love to see that happen, please. They're in Q15. That'll do it for tonight's Wednesday Night Walkthrough. Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. Adopt, foster, rescue, advocate, share. Do what you can. You don't have to do everything. Just do something. And whatever you do, do not do nothing. And you will make a difference.